Hi, I'm Amaya. And I'm Raven. And, and welcome, welcome back to, to The Cutting, Cutting Edge. Edge. Final exams are on their way. Remember to finish the academic year on a positive note. <laughs> As the days are getting longer, the students are able to extend their learning. Outside the classroom. Let's go join some Alaska history field trips. As springtime arrived in Sitka, Mr. Fritz's AK history classes moved the classroom to connect with many amazing Alaska stories. Let's join them on an adventure to Sheldon Jackson Museum. Students engage their history and cultural heritage using pencil, paper, and imagination. Hi folks, <clears throat> welcome to the Sheldon Jackson Museum on behalf of the state of Alaska. Also, he wanted this collection to be here for the native students who were being sent to the boarding schools. It's how to do these things, that's the good news. It shows our cultures are alive and well. Here we see students getting up close and personal with the fascinating artifacts of the museum's collection. Hi, my name is Ian Chase Ivanov. I am a second year sophomore from Anchorage, Alaska. And right now I am looking at a few sewing implements from the Inupiaq and Yupik regions. I find these interesting of on how the blades are slightly big for what they need to be need to do, but they still made really nice artwork and clothes. Hi, my name is Noah Andrew, and I'm from Bethel, Alaska. And my name is Ethan Cook, and I'm also from Bethel, Alaska. Um, we're here at Sheldon Jackson Museum, and what I found interesting was um, these seal calls that hunters used on the ice, that they would use these seal calls to scratch the ice, and it's familiar with other, um, to other seals, and they would get attracted to the scratching of the ice. What I found interesting was there's different types of arrows for different animals such as birds, caribou. Hi, my name is Lodi Ayodjak and I'm from Togiak. And I'm Melanie Smith from Shivak, Alaska. One thing I found interesting was the trance of the shaman mask because I've heard stories from my grandparents about shamans and what they did to people and they would punish people. And what I thought was interesting was that they made a knife out of rock and bone. It reminded me of the film we watched on Stone Age Explorers. I'm Dahlia Burns from Old Harbor. And I'm Dayton Hobbit from Wells Pass. And today we went to the Sheldon Jackson Museum. Uh, one of the coolest artifacts at the Sheldon Jackson Museum to me was the ceremonial knife. And something cool about the ceremonial knife was the fact that it had actual human hair on it. One of the things that I thought was cool was the winged halibut hooks. I thought it was interesting because I fished for halibut today and it was very cool to see how they fished for halibut back then. After exploring Alaska's artistic and cultural roots, the students prepared to investigate the dramatic changes that arrived during Russian America. As the AK historians entered into Russian America, they explored many of Sitka's fascinating sites. Here, the students begin their journey to the summit of historic Castle Hill. Hi, I'm Maggie Lyon, and I'm here on my AK History field trip. Once at the top of the hill, students gathered and studied the interpretive signs, looking for clues about Sitka's complex historic past. A little school for girls of mixed Russian and Native heritage. Even today, Sitka's skyline reflects the lasting impact of Russian America. Next, the historians ventured into Alaska's oldest national park. Then, it was just a hop, skip, and a jump into the beautiful trails of Totem Park.
Moving on, the students entered the fort site at Shishkanu, location of both the Battle of Sitka in 1804 and the reconciliation ceremony of 2004. Finally, the students discovered the replica of the Russian blockhouse and the gravesite of Yakov Nesvetov, the first Alaska native canonized as a saint of the Russian Orthodox Church. Before they knew it, it was time to head back to campus. What a great way to learn about Alaska history. Now let's go see who's the student of the month. Congratulations, Josh, for getting Student of the Month. Let's bump it over to the Tyrus College setting in the library. <laughs> Mount Edgecombe High School has a long history of success in volleyball. And I firmly believe that success breeds success. And it makes players want to come here, both for the academics of our school and for the athletics. We are here today to celebrate with Tyra Brown as she signs her letter of intent to play volleyball on scholarship for the Edmonds Community College Tritons in Linwood, Washington. Tyra came to us as a junior from Chivac and has made a lasting impression on our team with her hard work and her desire to get better. Over the last two years, she has shown us that it takes more than just talent to be a great volleyball player. I'm so excited for her future both in volleyball and academics as she goes forward to meet her goal of earning a degree in environmental studies. Let's give Tyra a huge round of applause as she signs her letter of intent. Congrats and good luck next year, Tyra. 